she was thrown into the spotlight when she got a call this week to try out as a kicker for the football team, which had lost several specialists due to COVID-19. Sarah did well enough to become the only kicker on the travel team roster. And the rest, as they say, is history. Sarah spoke with Linda Cohn on SportsCenter. And we welcome in a rock star. Yes, I labeled you Sarah Fuller, a rock star, because that's what you are into Sports <laughs> Center. Sarah, thanks so much for joining us on a milestone day for you. What was your mindset as you arrived to the stadium to play on Saturday? Yeah, well, thanks for having me. Um, arriving to the stadium, I was just trying to pick out like a good playlist, honestly, like got to get the jams going and everything. Um, but really, I just wanted to do my best. So that was my main thing going into it. Like I was just going to go in and, and do the best that I can do to the best of my ability. So uh, that was the game plan. It was interesting. We all noticed you sharing a moment pregame with the opposing coach, Missouri coach Eli Drinkwitz. What did he say to you? Yeah, that was really cool. Um, so he came up to me and he said, hey, I'm a, a dad of four daughters and they're watching today and this is just incredible what you're doing. And that's been like the most amazing thing is I've had coaches come up to me, dads come up to me and say like, you're inspiring me and you're inspiring my daughters. And I just think that's so amazing. Sarah, you brought a lot of people to the screen to watch this game against Missouri. People that never seen Vanderbilt, people that never have watched Missouri. They were watching because of you. There was buzz along social media, of course. Yeah. How would you grade your kickoff to start that second half? I mean, I thought it was great. Uh, we were going for a, a short kick in the pooch um, and everything. So, uh, I kicked it right where I needed to go and um, was able to, my teammates were able to get to it and they didn't run it back. So <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was great, but they did everything they could this week to get me ready. Um, and so I had a lot of confidence going into it um, and a lot of support from teammates and fans. So this is crazy. I have fans now, so. <laughs> oh yeah, you have fans, that is for sure, <laughs> including me. Hello, I'm a fan. You said you got a lot of new fans, and, and I believe it. Has anyone <laughs> yeah. reached out to you after the game that made you say, wow, I cannot believe it? Um, Mia Hamm. <laughs> <did. laughs> nice. That was crazy. Uh, you know, a lot of NFL kickers have, like, and Dak Prescott and everything, which I'm a Cowboys fan. Um, I, uh, Tim Howard and I had a little bit of a conversation. I, it's just been so cool. Carly Lloyd reached out, Hope Solo tweeted about me. I just, this is crazy. These are all the people I looked up to growing up. So it's incredible that they think I'm an inspiration. Well, you're amazing and we are all big fans and we really appreciate you and congratulations again. Uh, Thank you. So much out there for you to grab and run with. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.